Dosas generally require a lot more time for fermentation, but the variation I am making requires only 4 hours. And this is a mixed dal dosa, so you can easily make it during parution. For that, I have soaked half a cup of rice, one and a half tablespoon of chana dal, one and a half tablespoon of tuar dal, and one and a half tablespoon of moong dal for four hours. And I've drained out all the water, and now I'm going to grind it. I'm also going to add all the dry spices. So a teaspoon of red chilli powder, just a small pinch of turmeric powder, 1-4 teaspoon of cumin seed powder, half a teaspoon of amchur or raw mango powder, 1-4 teaspoon of asafoetida and also a teaspoon of sugar. Don't add any water right now, we'll add some after we grind it at least for 2 minutes. Let's check on this. I need to add a dash of water, not too much, just to blend everything together and grind it into a coarse paste, a not a very fine paste. Not a very fine paste. You should be able to feel a few rice granules between your fingers. So this is ready. Let's get this out. And I'm going to add some salt to taste. Stir it in. And this is the consistency of the batter that I need. Not too watery. This batter is ready. If you have the time, you can let it ferment for one or two hours. But if you don't, then you can make them instantly. And now, I'm going to start making the dosas. So for that, just take a spoonful of batter onto the pan. And I've already warmed the pan a bit. And spread it. It's not going to be a very thin dosa. Thin out the edges. Cook this on low flame and now I'm going to apply a little bit of ghee. You can use oil too but on request with of my cameraman, I'm going to use some ghee. Cover it with some kind of a lid and let it cook on one side till you see brown edges. Let's check on this. You can see all the brown edges being formed. And I'm going to remove this from the pan. Flip it over. And let it cook for another minute on the other side. Let's see if the other side is cooked. I think a few more seconds. Just press it down lightly. After you finish making each dosa, you have to cool down the pan completely. So for that, just take a wet cloth and clean the pan. Let's spread the batter again. Apply some ghee. Cover it and let this cook again for 2 minutes. 
let's flip it and it looks done. You can try and spread the batter as thinly as you can for a nice crispy dosa or even the thick ones taste equally good. Do try this variation for this parution and to all of you all out there, Jai Jinendra.